before today's video start make sure to check out brollmerch.com we just got a bunch of og original hats back in stock so if you've been waiting for one they're now now live make sure to check it out but let's get shooting <clears throat> Well guys, this is kind of like a OG throwback video. We're here in Michigan doing some turkey hunting. We actually shot a turkey this morning. Caitlin shot a turkey this morning. Riley's gonna probably try to get a turkey tomorrow morning. Um, but it is such a calm day outside. I was like, let's go outside and do some like long shooting. Um, this is right where um, like I started shooting and started shooting like super long distances. So I did this one video where I shot like 150 yards. Um, with lighted knox and i was like let's go try to do that again so i have my tack bow set up it's super light arrows um i should be able to get like a hundred definitely aiming right on 110 120 aiming on and then i'll probably have to use my double pin uh or my bubble to like aim on beyond that but we're gonna start at a hundred uh, we got the uh phone set up on the uh, loophole spotting scope too because shooting far like showing impacts I feel like that's kind of dope so actually I don't know how far this is 98 okay 98 and a half yards this is what we're starting Nice. It's a touch right. Man, I, I'm gonna do that more often. I love watching that. Let me stand actually on this side so I can just look. This is the new setup right here. Oh, I'm all the way right. I forgot. I maxed out my rightness. Hopefully that's just me that they're hitting right. Those are touching down there. That is awesome. Okay, we might have to fix our right and left problem. So this is one thing why I do like the HHAs is you can loosen it, do a macro adjustment, and then bring it back over. There's these little, little dipples on this side. So if you ever max it out instead of like on some of the um, excels and stuff, you have to loosen it and then push it and then tighten it back down. But this is just, a, you loosen this little knob and then it's the little dimples to do some macro adjustment. So hopefully I don't miss, I might aim a little, little to the left just so I have buffer. on okay still right 100 yard groups though I mean first three I'm very happy with oof -da. that was a low seven good shot low seven good shot low seven that did not feel like a like a low seven. Like a low seven. This one only has three veins. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, X. Guess that didn't matter. Or maybe it steered it into the X. Dude, low again. I don't know, some ir irregular shots in there, but we're gonna move it back. I think I'm gonna go to, mm, 
I might just jump to 120 where I think 120 is, which we're gonna have to move some targets around. Let's see, 107. Okay, 120 will be in that bend. Move some targets around. The goal is to shoot 150. Not 100% if we can do it, but the goal is to do 150 yards. The geese are our friend this afternoon. Those of you that watch the OG videos know that the geese always, always interrupt. Um, kind of want to drag one of these. Lean it up against something. Yeah, I mean that's probably a good idea. Do you want help? Like, look how strong he is. Oh, what's oh. that thing? <laughs> Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> Injure yourself trying to move a target. <laughs> Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do know this this is a really old feeder. This has not been used in a very long time as you can tell. Everything's grown underneath it and everything. We used to be able to bait in Michigan a long time ago. Now you cannot, so we just never moved it. I think I'm just gonna aim at this empty black. That's probably a good idea. So I can see my pin this far away. I should not have worn these shoes. Yeah. Kind of running into the same issue yep, here. This is a problem. All right, let's get this. Oh, we're, we got to move. So we move the target to where 150 is going to be. We're just going to move forward. Ooh, 140. For sure, going to be able to do 150. One twenty. This is a long ways away. Don't shoot very often this far accurately. It's different, like just to sling an arrow far, but it's another thing to try to be accurate and do it. There's dust particles floating. That's sick. The quality on these are just unfreaking real. Never really had a good spotting scope set up to do this. Okay, let's move our sight to one twenty so we don't miss. I just have a little little sharpie dot. I've actually never shot one twenty, so hopefully this is close. And like I was saying, we don't have a target on. I guess we have a little tiny white dot in the middle. I'll just aim at the middle. It's just so far away, just like aiming at the middle of the target. It's kind of all we're going for. Okay, left. <laughs> you can look at it before it even hits. Oh yeah. I could not explain to you how perfect this weather is today. Like zero wind. Oh, I almost hit the white dot. I love that, dude. That's not bad. Actually, <clears throat> we're kind of losing daylight. I want to run back to get to 150, but those last two shots were pretty good. Right in there, I got one, one low right. That one centered off. The far left one, I just had, I moved my sight and then got over in the middle. <sighs> Happy with that. Okay, we're at 130. What do you think, double pin? Maybe not quite oh, my double pin. Oh yeah, you're you're about to run into her up there. I think. Oh yeah, I can't move my sight anymore. Yeah. I think almost using my double pin will get me 130. Like my double pin might be 133. Nice. Yeah. So I aimed at the bottom of the target with my double pin. So my double pin's probably maybe 135. I'm gonna aim double pin at the top of 
top. I don't even know where we're at actually. Thirty-seven. Double pin at the top should be fine. Dang, that almost hit right where I was. Keep on going back. All right, let's see what we got. One forty-five. What was I? Like one thirty-seven last time. Mm -hmm. Maybe double pin at the top now. Should be good. Ooh. <laughs> that sounded soft. <laughs> I watched it. it. It nearly skimmed the bottom of the target. <laughs> it's so soft back there, too. It probably just, like, <laughs> <It's gone. laughs> dove three feet into the earth. Middle. Okay. So there's this little tiny hole that the fiber threads through. I'm aiming right in the middle with that. So that's not terrible for 150. Let's, or 145, let's go to 150 now. 150. So they're away. So we could show this, you think? Yeah, right there, you can read it. 150. It's actually kind of fifty point two. It's legit, people. We keep it real around here, folks. Be real. It's. I mean, like, I feel like this isn't that hard. Like, if you can shoot fifty yards. Well, that's a, like if you even if you take MOA, like the minute of angle. If you can hit a five-inch group at fifty yards, you can hit a fifteen-inch group at one hundred and fifty. Right, right. And that's the thing. Like, it's not like. It's not that hard. It's just scary. And most people's bows just can't get there. That's the biggest thing, is a lot of bow setups physically can't do this, but if you set it up, set it up with a light arrow, light arrow, um, should be good. High poundage, 76 pounds. Because you're okay. super strong. Strong. Um, let's see this. Oh, if they don't miss this time, it's only five yards, but it's crazy how much arrows drop this far. Ooh, I see it. It went way, it went right down there. I love being able to turn and watch the arrow hit because it's that far. Um, we might put, we might have to put a little something something on the target too because I can't see it. Ooh, man down. Ooh. Ooh. Oofta. <laughs> we lost one. Uh, I actually might like keep this so I can aim aim at those fletchings. Are you gonna be able to see that? Oh yeah. Can I see that? Nighthawk. <laughs> <laughs> His um, name is Chris, but we call him Nighthawk. It's because there's a giant rock right there. There <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, rocks will break arrows if you hit them. Dude, I don't know where that one went. We might just be a man down, just... man down. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just gone, man. Dude, these targets are <laughs> the toughest. They're good, yeah, they're good targets, but they're so hard to pull from. And my feet are just getting soaked. All right, not ideal. Yeah, I have no idea where that went. Okay, we are gonna put this target actually like back in the middle. You should be able to see it fine. Man. So yeah, but this like black target just you can't get a good outline on it. 
actually do like this too, so I can aim at the top if I have to. All right, let's get out of this wetness. Mm. Dude, that was the same spot that the the rock the one. rock spot. Dang it! Another arrow is gone. I have to aim pretty high on this. Nice. I was guessing. I can't see the target anymore because it's like out of my view. It's kind of a bummer. Wonder. Is there any shortcuts we could do to get a little more distance here? Probably not. I'll just guess. It's good. Oh. See, I can't even see my my whole my, like the bubble is covering it up. I have to aim that high. Yeah, I don't know what you could do. Just, like, I wouldn't. Uh, why well, you... I, I have it. I have it marked, so I can just shove it right back. Okay. <laughs> Did you just have a heart attack? Yeah. Why do you do stuff like that? Because <laughs> this is gonna be really high now. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably gonna miss. It. Oh, you hit the target. Yeah. That's good. A little higher. Not much, but a little higher. If you move your peep sight higher, you get more distance. Good group. Those two down there at the same spot. I mean, not a bad group. What I can do is move that target a little higher, keep aiming at the target, and just get a group underneath it. I think that's what we should do. Well, maybe this one survived. <laughs> I can't do that. That might be there also forever. I feel like it went in. Like yeah. That one's in there. That one's gone. Lost another soldier. This is why shooting long distance is five. taxing. <laughs> five. Jeez. Okay, so if we aim here, theoretically, we should get a nice group right down there. Theoretically. But not. Now it's windy? Yeah, now we're getting the wind. That's lame. Nice. That's weird. Last end, we get some wind. Huh. See how we do. Nice. About right where we were thinking. It's like, you gotta keep your peep lined up and it feels like really weird keeping your peep lined up. And I'm trying to like balance these. I can literally see just the two white corners of the target because my pin is covering it and then my bubble's covering it. So I'm just like lining up the two corners of the target. Not ideal. About right there. Ooh, that was low. Yeah. It's crazy. One, every single tiny little thing at this distance matters so much. A little higher. Dude, my left and right is money. It's my up and downs is a little, a little wank because I don't have a pin to aim with. like calling the shots before it even gets there because you can watch them well guys that was fun um we got a decent you know 
for it being for it being 150 oh wow what's happening for it being 150 yards i mean you know not terrible if i spent some more time and and uh, some more daylight we probably would be get some good groups but fun little throwback i'm glad i got out here shot some long distance we're gonna chase some more turkeys we got some turkey vids heading your way we got iowa heading your way michigan heading your way we're gonna be going to wisconsin there's a bunch of deer out in the field going to wisconsin um so should be good spring is here archery is here total archery is here it's a good time see you guys next time